A few months ago, I was looking for a new rhythm game to pass the time between script writing, video editing, and just general life itself. In fact, during the making of this video, I've been distracted way too many times to play this game, often telling myself that it's only for a few minutes, which eventually turned into a few hours, and all of a sudden, it's 2 in the morning where I could be sleeping or watching anime. With this in mind, I thought it'd be a great time to talk about this game that I've been enjoying recently. And as the video title suggests, no, it's not Friday Night Funkin', but a game that was born out of the ashes of a certain dead rhythm game and has gone on to form an identity in its own right. So without further ado, why don't I introduce you all to a little known game called Clone Hero. For those who haven't heard of Clone Hero, it is an indie rhythm game created in 2017 by a team of Guitar Hero and Rock Band fans as a game by the community for the community. Released on PC, it was conceptualized as a Guitar Hero clone, which explains the near identical gameplay and aesthetic. Yet, with the death of Guitar Hero and Rock Band, as well as the nicheness of Ghidorah, the game has gone on to become the de facto instrument-based rhythm game, with streamers and a small but loyal community behind it. Like most rhythm games, the general gameplay involves hitting notes to the beat of the music, however, the game tries to accomplish this by emulating how one would play the guitar. These notes fall down onto a highway and into different colored receptors called frets, and as the notes approach these frets, you must press the button that corresponds to that fret. In the game, there are five different note types that you'll want to keep in mind, and I'll give a brief description of what they do. First up is the regular note. They don't look anything too special, and what you must do is that when a regular note reaches one of the frets, you'll need to strum for that note to register as a hit. The second type of notes are called tap notes and are translucent. Unlike the regular note, these do not need to be strummed. All you have to do is just press the corresponding fret key. Next up are hammer-ons and pull-offs, which are often referred to as hopos. These notes have a white glowing top and they have an interesting property. They are essentially taps with extra steps because if you have a combo going, you can essentially treat them as tap notes. However, if you end up breaking the combo, you will need to hit a strum before treating them as tap notes again. Then we have open strums, which are these long purple lines and require you to hit the strum key without pressing or holding any of the fret keys. Last but not least, we have hold notes, and these can apply to any type of note. All that you need to do is just hold the corresponding buttons for the length of the hold. Seems simple enough. And now, while the most popular way to play Clone Hero is the 5 fret guitar, there are other game modes that allow the use of other instruments, like drums. So, if you're a person who's experienced with a guitar or drums, you'll feel right in your comfort zone. Aside from the instrument-based gameplay, one of the main draws of Clone Hero are its Osu-like features, as unlike most rhythm games where charts are made by in-house teams, most if not all charts in Clone Hero are created by dedicated people in the community. You can find charts of a wide variety, from rock and metal to anime and K-pop, there are even meme charts that solely exist to be weird and get views, in addition to mod charts and boss charts that are meant to push the game and the player's limits to the extreme. What is this? Not only that, but the game also features an in-depth practice mode that allows you to tailor the experience to fit your needs. Want to learn how to play a specific section in the song? You don't have to play the entire song, instead you could just select the section that you want to play and practice until you get it right. Find the notes to be a little hard to read? Well, they got you covered with an option to slow down the song to a speed where you can actually read and get used to specific note patterns. Really, the amount of features implemented in this one mode gives players the environment to get a feel for the game at their own pace. Oh, and did I mention that it's convenient and free to play, which basically means that you can just straight up download it and play it right now. But before you leave to go on your journey to become a clone hero legend, there are a few things that you should probably know. The most obvious is that it is highly recommended to play with a Guitar Hero controller. On the bright side, Clone Hero is compatible with most of these controllers, so if you have one lying around, you can just plug it in and see if it works. Though, if you don't have one and don't know which one to get, there are videos out there that will go over what controllers to look for and what to avoid. However, if you're broke like me and or don't want to spend upwards of $80 for a dedicated controller, you could just use your keyboard instead, which, to be honest, it's actually not that bad. Sure, it takes a bit of getting used to, but with enough patience, you'll be able to get the hang of it. Nonetheless, if you find yourself struggling to overcome the learning curve, you can find a plethora of tutorial videos on YouTube along with an active Clone Hero Discord server to help you out. Moving on into actually getting songs for Clone Hero, you can find a spreadsheet of dedicated charters in addition to what genre they usually chart. So if you want to exclusively play K-pop, you don't exactly have to exert a lot of brain power to find all them BTS charts. 
Though if you want to look up a specific song, you can go to a site called Chorus where you can download Clone Hero Charts from there, and if all else fails, you can just search up Clone Hero Charts on YouTube. Whatever method you use, all that you need to do is download the chart, extract it from the zip file, and put it in the songs folder. If you've ever played Osu, this should sound very familiar to you. Once in the game, you can expect all the standard rhythm game settings that you can modify to your liking, from note speed to offsets, making the game fit to your playstyle. To wrap it all up, the amount of love and attention given to this project makes Clone Hero a love letter to instrument-based rhythm games. It took that same Guitar Hero formula and modernized it for the current day, improving the experience through custom charts, an in-depth practice mode, and a wide array of other features. Ensuring that it can appeal to those who simply want to try out a new rhythm game, while being enjoyable to those who want to relive the glory days of FCing through the fire and flames. And while the gameplay is a bit more complex than other rhythm games, that just makes it all the more rewarding when you figure out how to play certain patterns or FC hard charts. Not to mention that the game can only go up from here, as the developers are currently working on Strike Line, which seeks to revamp Clone Hero as well as add more features and other quality of life changes. So be on the lookout for that. In any case, I seriously recommend checking out Clone Hero, because it's fun and accessible either as a player or a spectator, and I hope that this game gets more traction in the near future. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.